We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number five. Girls, your mother and I are getting divorced. Monogamy isn't realistic. Monogamy isn't realistic. Again. Monogamy isn't realistic. I didn't understand that word at the time, but now I know exactly what he was talking about. Saturday, I would love it if you were my date. I can't do that because like, you and I won't ever see each other again. I wake up today every morning, man, just calling, I'm still here. Oh. Morning. Oh, Amy. What happened? The church let out early? Ooh, I like Tom's sweater. Does he teach computer in a church basement? Don't get all threatened just because you don't understand the concept of marriage. You dress him like that so nobody else wants to have sex with him. That's cool. Hey. Hold on, I was drunk last night. I was so kicking in. I don't feel right. I'm just a modern chick who does what she wants. Last week, it was this guy. Is that one in the box? Hey, Mark Wahlberg, shut up. Mark Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg's like 150 pounds. I look like Mark Wahlberg ate Mark Wahlberg. Before you judge, you should know I'm doing fine. My friends are awesome, my apartment's sick, and I have a great job at a men's magazine. I like you, Amy. You're clever, but you're not too brainy. You're pretty-ish, and you're not gorgeous. You're approachable. Thank you. Yeah. I'm giving you an assignment. I need a profile on a sports doctor. So you're doing the article on me? Mm-hmm. Sorry to interrupt. We watching Downton Abbey later? LeBron, I'm being interviewed. Listen, I'm watching it tonight because I'm not going to go to practice and all the guys are talking about it and I'm left out. Tall. You follow sports? Sports. I love them. Who's your favorite team? The Orlando Blooms. Do you want to go get a drink? Yeah. What am I doing? I slept at the doctor's place last night. My boy got intimate. Yes. Sexual intercourse. Oh! You never spend the night. What were you, blackout drunk? No, I had like two drinks. Three, max. Four, now that I'm tallying. Because you're on antibiotics or something? Oh my god, he's calling me. Why would he call? You guys just had sex. This is Amy. I think you butt dialed me. No, I dialed you with my fingers. What's she saying? What's she saying? Shh. He called me on purpose. Hang up. He's obviously like sick or something. I was calling Saturday. Number four. Tell her, talk to her. Oh, okay. Cedric and I sort of, um, baby, help me out, please. Yeah, basically, we were just thinking, what if you moved out? You know, like, mm -hmm. what would that be like? What is happening to me? Last year, I was engaged, and now I am at home all day in my underwear, and I'm nobody's nothing. I am going backwards. I am Benjamin Buttoning. Maybe it's time for a one-night stand. Do you think I'm ready? But who cares? I'm ready for you to be ready. Get on that dating site, pick a cute guy. No drinks, no dinner, just a hookup. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Morning, Megan. Morning, Alex. Actually, it's Alec. <laughs> hey, so do you want to grab breakfast, or do you normally just take off? Normally? Do you expect me to believe this is your first one-night stand? Yes. Come on. I think I'm going to take off. It was lovely having sex with you. Oh, I wish I could say the same. Uh. That's a lot of snow. Hmm. Hope you aren't planning on going anywhere anytime soon, because it ain't gonna happen. This storm is showing no signs of slowing down. I cannot stay here. This is the worst. Wow, how the time flies. Just make the best of it. Boom! Home run, twins! I bet you 150 bucks you're gonna die alone. Well, my future smoking hot widow will gladly accept your money. We're trapped, and as soon as that snow clears, you're gone. Big Mexico gone. We can use this time to be honest with each other and give each other advice and constructive criticism for the next person that comes along. Fine, all right, I bite, go. Okay, lights off, what is that? And you went like way too fast. You started helping yourself a little bit. It's like you were drilling for oil. Boop. <laughs> Smack it. Oh, oh. Hey, drop some my panties. <sighs> What if we tried again? <sighs> Number three. Allison, 
Jack and I need to see you in his office. We were wondering whether or not you would be good for on camera. Really? <laughs> I know, I was so surprised too. Are you living your vision right I now? I am kind of living my vision. Wow, that is sad, I'm telling you. I got a promotion. Oh my god! Yay! Let's go celebrate. Woo! I'm Allison. I'm Ben. This is my friend Jason. I'm just trying not to stare. She's married. Shut up! You think that's gonna stop him from hitting on her? It's not at all. <laughs> Relax, don't do it. You believe this? I think he's doing the dice thing too much. That's really all he's got. Where you wanna come? <sighs> You're prettier than I am. <laughs> Do we have sex? Yeah. Nice. Hello. Hi, this is Allison. I don't know if you remember me. I have something I really need to tell you. I'm pregnant. With a baby? Yes. Then what are you hitting on me for? How did this happen? This is a disaster. Aren't you supposed to be married to have a baby? You should be, because they love each other, and people who love each other get married and have babies. Do you love each other? We should really just try to get to know each other and give this a real shot. Okay, I know we didn't plan this, but I'm on board. <laughs> Yay! This summer... Is this freaking you out that we're shopping for baby clothes? No, I'm just pretending I'm shopping for regular clothes and I'm a giant. <laughs> what do you think of him? He's funny, right? Fetch! All right, bring it back. He's playing fetch with my kids. Go get it! Fetch! He's treating my kids like they're dogs. Universal Pictures presents... Marriage is like an unfunny version of Everybody Loves Raymond. Should we have sex tonight? Ugh. But it doesn't last 22 minutes. It lasts forever. I'm just really constipated. Do you really want to? Well, now... A comedy about where babies come from. I'm gonna be there to rear your child. You hear that, Ben? Don't let him near the kid. He wants to rear your child. And how grown-ups are born. You're gonna love this, I predict it. Life's a great adventure, and you're the hero in it. Oh. I'm gonna go sneak a peek, see if there's anything I can do. Ah. You be in here? Yeah! I shouldn't have gone in there. Not done. Number two. What are the biggest challenges in running a museum? We're a museum of modern and contemporary art, so we need to present art that is the art of today, art that is absolutely cutting edge, and the competition is fierce. If you place an object in a museum, mm. for instance, if we took your bag and placed it here, would that make it art? Ah. Her til efteråret præsenterer vi den argentinske kunstner og sociolog Lola Arias og hendes udstilling, som hedder The Square. Vi kan ikke som museum lade os skræmme af udtrykte overskridte grænser. Det kan vi ikke gøre. How often would you say that you take women that you don't know very well and have sex with them? You know their names? Yeah. So what's my name? Frizone, hvor tillid og omsorg råder. I den har vi alle lige rettigheder og forpligtelser. Number one. All right, I have an admittedly insane idea, but if I don't ask you this, it's just gonna haunt me the rest of my life. I have no idea what your situation is, but I feel like we have some kind of a uh, connection, right? Yeah, me too. Great. So listen, here's the deal. This is what we should do. You should get off the train with me here in Vienna and come check out the town. We just got into Vienna today and we're looking for something fun to do. Is pregnancy English? Yeah, of course, yeah. Because uh, we speak German for a change. Now I'm going to call my best friend in Paris, who I'm supposed to have lunch with in eight hours. Okay? 
Okay. Ring, ring. Pick up the phone. Uh, oh, hello. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it for lunch today. I'm sorry. I met a guy in the train, and I got off with him in Vienna. We're still there. Are you crazy? Probably. He has beautiful blue eyes, nice pink lips, frizzy hair. <laughs> I love it. I like to feel his eyes on me when I look away. He couldn't possibly know why a night like this is so important to my life right now. But it is. Since we're never going to see each other again, I don't think we should sleep together. Let's see each other again. No, I don't want you to break our vow. Just so you can get laid. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top 5 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.